In this video, I want to give you four actions you should take in order to get and stay on track in your daily Christian walk with Jesus. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Sandra from A Moment with Sandra and welcome to my channel where I discuss topics that will help you in your everyday walk with Jesus. I want to begin today by reading a scripture about a man who was wanting to see Jesus and while he was seeking for Jesus, Jesus was seeking for him. This man evidently realized that something was missing in his life and so he set out to find it. I'm going to be reading from Luke the 19th chapter and I'm going to read, I'm going to read verses 1 through 10 and I am using the English Standard Version. He entered Jericho and was passing through. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and he was rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who was a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. I want to share just a little information about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector. And tax collectors back then were not liked too much because they were known to be dishonest. They made their profits on whatever extra money they charged the people. And Zacchaeus had position and Zacchaeus had money, but he was still seeking for more. There was a void that he wanted filled and money and position could not fill it. His only solution was to find Jesus, and he set out to do just that. When he heard that Jesus was coming his way, he ran ahead and he climbed up a tree. He did this because he had a disadvantage. Because of his height, he couldn't see. This takes me to the first action that I wanted to share with you in order for you to stay on track with your walk. Number one, don't allow your circumstances to hinder you from accomplishing what you have set out to do. Zacchaeus did not allow his short stature or his disadvantage to stop him from pursuing his goal. Now, when Jesus got to the place where Zacchaeus was in the tree, he stopped and he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus. That lets me know that Jesus was seeking for Zacchaeus and he found him. He knew where he was. And so he looked up at him and, and told him to hurry up and come down from there. Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus did. And when Zacchaeus came down, he was joyful and excited, which takes me to action number two. Be excited. Jesus has just recognized you who you are and has called you by your name. Jesus has initiated that conversation with you. Be excited. Zacchaeus had a desire and he set out to fulfill that desire, but he received so much more. He just wanted to see Jesus, but he was able to talk with him too. And more importantly, he was able to have him in his house as a guest. How cool is that? Action number three, accept the invitation that Jesus gives out. Don't ever think that you're not worthy. 
Jesus wants to rescue you. He wants to rescue you from your guilt, from your sin, from your pride, from your shame. He wants you to accept his invitation. Zacchaeus accepted the invitation that Jesus put out to him. Jesus is coming where you are, whether you are up a tree or sitting in a corner in the church, at home, on your job, wherever you are, he can find you. Zacchaeus wasn't hiding. He just was anxious to see Jesus. We should have the same desire to want to see him. Jesus said that he had come to seek and to save the lost, those who don't know him. He wants to introduce himself to you. Now, if you are a Christian, you've already accepted his invitation, but you may have lost something along the way. For instance, your excitement because of the struggles of life. Life has a way of draining us. Every day, you know, we have so much we're faced with. But Jesus has, Jesus has come to restore us, to put back in us those things that we need from him. We need to begin to seek him again until we can get our excitement back. Seek him until we can get our commitment back. Seek him until we can become more dedicated like we were when we first accepted his invitation. He's come to save. He's come to rescue us. He's come to restore us. Action number four. In order to stay on track, walking with God every day, we have to repent of any wrongdoings. Zacchaeus was sorry for the wrong that he had done. He repented, saying that he will restore that which he had taken. He had no right to take it in the first place. He said, I will even give back more. It didn't matter to him what the people were saying. It doesn't matter what people are saying about you. You, what matters is what God is saying about you. Zacchaeus was glad for the salvation and the relationship that he has now become a part of in Christ. So let us be excited for what God is doing, is doing now and what he's about to do. You know, let's strive on so your relationship will grow with him. And that will benefit you and it will benefit those around you. And we're getting ready to go into a new year. And we need to cross over into that new year excited about Christ, excited of where we know he's going to take us. We have to try to leave what's in the past in the past and take on the newness of the new year. Even though things may not change around us, even though the storm, we're probably still going to be in the storm, but even though Jesus does not calm the storm that's around us, he can always calm that storm that's in us. But we have to allow him to do that. We need to seek him. We need to, 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 find, to find out where he is and go there. We Go to your word. He's in the word. He is the word. Go to your word. Go, go to your prayer closet. Find him. And when you find him, you will be like Zacchaeus. You will be sorry for the wrong that you've done. You will be anxious. You will be, you will be overwhelmed and thrilled that he has decided to come to your house, to come in you. Because when Jesus comes into your house, it makes all the difference in your life. You'll be able to uh, uh, hold on a little longer. You'll be able to endure and to uh, things won't matter as, as much as they used to matter. So let's just, you know, let's be like Zacchaeus. Let's find Jesus. And when Jesus starts to have conversation with you, you will notice, you will see that everything is going to mail out this day. Salvation has come into your house. This day, restoration has come into your house. This day, Jesus has come to your house. So receive his invitation and watch him work in your life. Before I end this, I want to say a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you because salvation has come to our house. Thank you because your restoration 
has come and restored our zeal, restored our dedication and our commitment. God, we thank you for seeking us out as we seek for you. And we will seek you until we find you. We pray God for the unbelievers, Lord, that they will have a desire to seek you out too. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you so much for joining me. And if this video was a blessing to you, please like it and give me a thumbs up. Share it with someone who you think it may benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss what God has in store for you on the next video. So let's work together so we can be better as we cross over into the new year. You be blessed and I will see you again next time.